Welcome fellow Westland warriors and greetings from the Sisterhood. We're thrilled you've joined us for another epic journey through the post-apocalyptic chaos. Today marks a monumental occasion as we embark on our 26th Fallout 4 adventure. And guess what? We're on a mission to track down the elusive Curie, the missing piece of our badass Sisterhood puzzle. Now, hold on to your Nuka Cola because we're taking a wild and daring route to find her. Thanks to the ingenious addition of the Highway Reclamation Project, we've got ourselves a ticket to the sky. A free pass to soar above the wasteland like never before. But, as with any daring escapade, there's a catch. Those pesky holes in the floor. It's a perilous path we tread, my friends, but fear not for the sisterhood fears no danger. And hey, while you're here witnessing our daring exploits, why not show us some love? Smash that like button and hit subscribe to join our ever-growing army of Wasteland Warriors. To Vault 81 we go in search of Kiri and a whole lot of fun. Strap in folks because the adventure is about to get wilder than a death or a red storm. Let's do this! Get back to you on that. Yes. Let's move out. I try not to take that personally. Let's get this over with. I think managed to clear that out quite nicely, not too much trouble. I'm trying to pull through any uh, holes in the floor. I'm not going to start lugging around power armor with me. Ew, grognak. Yes. Nice. Lovely picture. Huh, wish I'd brought something to tell you myself. Why is that? Will you lend me this comic book when you're done with it? Maybe. <laughs> Do a little look around before we uh, carry on with our mission, our quest. Well, this... Nice. You can run, but not from Yvette. <laughs> Needs to run a lot faster than that, pal. We should hopefully be able to get Hope down somewhere over there. Whoa! Uh, I want this out of my way. Suits me fine. Come to Mama. Yeah, we need to get our, get down over this way somewhere, somehow. Well, I need to get down and be over there. So I'm actually tempted. jump into the water. Hopefully it's deep enough. Oh, just about. And now we've got to get out before we get any uh, waterborne diseases. Rich. Sweet. Oh, stingweed. I find that's the easiest way of hitting them things because otherwise I don't stand a chance. 
This is a fish in a barrel. I can't hit it. Vault 81. Finally, after all this time, we may actually be getting our last, possibly last, companion. Or member of the sisterhood, should I say. Okay, we go first person when we're inside, because I just find it so much easier. Let's have a chat, see if we can get in. Excellent. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 95. Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, she did say she was from a vault, and she's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? Yep, let me in. Come on. I'm going to allow it. Hey. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. Um, hey, got a sec? Okay. Yeah. Let's get into Vault 81. Without cutting my toes off, please. Man, my guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They Fuck me. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know Nothing we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Excuse me, Overseer. Ready to talk now? Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for this long. Thanks. I owe it to the Overseers before me. But some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about the dog? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If she's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure she's chosen her friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. No, I think I'm good for now. And you're a dad as well, Doc Mate. Hope you're not making any trouble. I don't think so. Detecting moderate levels of radiation. Hey, May want to stop by our medicals. Dr. Forsyth or Rachel can help you with that. Uh, Doc Mate, don't chase the cat. <laughs> not gonna like this. If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. Uh, She'll just the you elevator. Out. Roger that. Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the age room. That's good. Yep, thanks for the info. Where's Austin? Come on, let's have the tour. Hey lady, are you really from the Commonwealth? Me? No, I'm from the moon. Still got cheese on my shoes. I guess that was a dumb question. But I bet it's your first time here. I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Um... Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Aaron. 
She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I have best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot. So I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you kill a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Overseer, huh? I suppose someone needs to be in charge? Well, if you need her, that's where you find her. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. I'll come here if I get hungry. I like it here. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grant makes me comb it. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Grand. Let's go see Grand. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Grand. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering her. I'm helping her. Hmm. That's Grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. Good to know. I bet she takes good care of you. When she remembers. Or isn't too busy. Watch it, boy. Next up, Miss Katie. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the hall. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Gran says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. It's good to know all the kids are getting an education. If you say so. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Gran makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Good to know. If I need help, I'll come here. I hope you don't mind needles. They poke at you a lot in here. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth. That's so cool. We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Hey, I'll be right back. Well, hello. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Hey, I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. All right. Let's go find Ashes. For the war. 
They have their own vault up the hill, just like Sanctuary. There she is, come on. Oh, I wish it was this easy to find a cat. Aaron misses you. That's a really intelligent cat if he understands that. Long enough to what stand at your back door with a tin of cat food and rattle it. <laughs> that camera's going to talk to Erin. Ah. I hope you don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like working. No, not really. Impressive. A little bit of levitation there. Hey, pal. about him you're welcome i'm so glad he's safe ashes bad kitty i was so worried about you all right let's go find the doctor i can remember where the clinic is that is <laughs> welcome welcome i hope i'm not being presumptuous but i'd like to ask you a favor would you mind donating some medical samples? Even just the blood sample. Am I for some caps? All right. The overseer did give me a few caps for this. How does 50 caps sound? That hardly seems enough. Hmm. I suppose I can use the rest of my allotment. I can give you 100 caps. She bleed him of everything he's got. You'll have to do better than that to get your pound of flesh you drive a hard bargain i can give you 150 but not a cap more just have a seat and i'll draw some blood oh uh, this isn't gonna be nice is it this will only take a sec need a break do not worry i watch your back big enough bloody needle on that thing wouldn't it hardly hurt a bit eh? here are the caps i promised you thank you this will be a great help now I need to get these prepared immediately. Hey. If it's food you're looking for, Good job. You found the woman of your dreams. Okay. Show me. Now I need to exit the vault and wait 24 hours for the next stage of this quest to uh, to start. Well, the weather's not the best, is it? <laughs> so I can't find a uh, a bed to sleep in. Lovely. Wasn't too hard, was it? <laughs> Nothing but crap. That's disappointing. So it's this Vault Dweller's official guide to cooking. Nice. Hey, looks like we've got a new recipe. Oh, I could have slept in a proper bed rather than just a mattress. It's always kicking off that, yeah? Always kicking off. Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Um, you know that door Austin hey, found? Hey, got a sec? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around with it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for yeah, whatever I've done in that mole rat somewhere <laughs> in that place. Make sure she gets the camera time. Hey. Well, oh, Darlene's gonna have a go now. I don't need to speak to him. Dr. Forsyth? You there. Ah. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. 
Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Be quick and find that cure. I'll give it a try. But I'm not getting hung up on chairs. Lovely. Here we go then. Secrets Vault 81. Okay. Let's see if we can get through here without getting bitten by these bloody mole rats. Oh, that one didn't buy us. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure there's plenty more opportunities for him to have a go. Mine now. Plenty of ammo. Gonna need all the ammo I can get, I reckon. Step into the open and identify Just tell me to do anything. Breeding program, serum production. I don't really want to read all, all of that. Not my nothing to fear. I'm more of a shoot it sort of person. Area Here we go. Oh. This is nothing. Time to die. Sweet. Right, we're gonna get better get through that. Oh. Now we can come at it from the side. That is tracking us proper. You got my attention. Bye. Now we completely have ammo for the combat rifle, so shotgun it is. Oh, where'd you come from? Keep wasting these shots. I only needed two to take that down. I spent three on it. I don't have a great much, too much ammo. Great much ammo. It's good English, isn't it? Got a bum. Dead now, though. One is. Oh crap, I should be bitten. That was not good. Good riddance. Uh, just go away. Oh, I reckon I've probably been infected by now. Not good. I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin oh, I forgot will be about running that. around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Well, this is going to be a joy for you. Because it nagged me and I can't go anywhere. A real nice hold. Make this about you. Don't you think All about the arguing, bickering. You and your staff are the most too short for that. Remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But no buts. Let's do this. What's that? Some sort of mole bear. I don't more like a mole bear than a mole rat. Let's do this. Damn it. What just happened? I can't even hit it. I'm close. Thanks, dog meat. And I'm out of ammo now. He's my trusty old 10 mil. Oh, we're showing an enemy over to the right. Somewhere over this way. Bye. I'm aware of that, yes. Shit. What's up, Kate? I'm sorry. I guess I just lost. <laughs> I, I, was I even hearing that? Sorry. Oh, bring it. 
<laughs> Bring it here. The other one's above us, I'm not sure. We'll have to go back up to get this other one. Okay, get your flamethrower on the go. Come on, form it up. Do the terminal. Through. Arrested. Development. Now, have we got everything? Clearly not. Sorry. Want some more? So, we've got yes. more coming. That's not so good. Not sure Staying out more. of trouble? Ooh, missiles. Yes. Coast Guard hat. Random. Well, there's the password if you can't hack the terminal. Stealth boy. Ooh. Bingo. Let's see if we can go and speak to Curry now. Curry. 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 She can talk to us, and we've still got some enemies to take care of. You've returned. Are you for tech security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a Volt Tech representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. Lovely. There's the cure. Looks like a stim pack, but never mind. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there, and if nothing else, there is data. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude, but I must ask. Please, madame, can you take me with you? So you are going to intrude. Um, why not? Come along, then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Fury is available to be hey, your companion. How's it going? Not feeling great at the moment. No, she's been bitten by a bloody mole rat. Bingo. And ironically enough, a medicine bobblehead. I think that's the only thing of note in here now. 
Just check in here quick. A bobby nice. pin box. Not that I really need that. And a Darlene. I found a Darlene. Let's go find Austin. Give him his jab. So this door, at least that elevator, which takes them down to where Curry is. And after all these years, nobody's been through that door and down that elevator. I even tried to get through it. I can't see a, a lot for it on this side. What are you inside. thinking about? Hey, how's it going? Not feeling great at the moment. The cure? You found it? Just in time, too. Austin won't last much longer. You don't look so good. Oh my god. You got bit by one of those mole rats too, didn't you? You seem to be holding up a lot better than Austin, though. Maybe because you're an adult. Might be you're just more resistant. How is Austin doing? Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. Oh, uh, gonna have to give it to him, am I? Here. Take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had the turn. There are many accounts of singles, poets, intellectuals... Excuse me. Dr. Forsyth is doing all he can, but we're not sure it's going to be enough. This won't kill me, trust me. That means... Why are you, boy? Tell you what, doctors love stabbing you things, don't they? They're not stabbing you with things, they're poking you with things. What? Being invasive with things. We're in the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, man. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky... How are you doing? For my part, I'd like to give you the surrender. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. Oh my I'd god, like get out of the way. Here in the vault. <laughs> a place you can call Stand your... over this side. It's in the main hall. On the left, as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. I, I hope you enjoy out. your accommodation. Austin would be dead. starving. Thank you. Happy to help. Did he give me the syringe? Did I miss that? Completed hole in the wall. And the other good thing is. Yeah. Never mind. It, it's not important. We have Curie. Oh, I just got to get her uh, affinity up. And then we can make a human. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. Go on. The sisterhood has grown again. I think we have a small army. We're going to take the Commonwealth completely and utterly under our control. We're going to dominate. First, I think we need sleep. So what was our room then? The first one after the uh, elevator on the left. Ooh, this is our room. Got a bobblehead stand. Got some 50 cal in the desk. Chair to sit on. Two chairs. Some 44 rounds and a Vault Tech lab coat. And some shelving, which I'll get anything on. Loads of ammo. This is good. This is real good. Dog meat. This is ours, boy. How's it going? Yeah. What? And that's a wrap for episode 26 of our Fallout 4 modded series. I trust you had a blast watching this video because I sure had a barrel of laughs making it. Finally, our sisterhood gains its eighth member, none other than the ever curious Curie. 
And yes, let's not forget Dog being a full-fledged member of the Sisterhood in his own right. Curry's arrival has been long overdue, but now that she's joined our ranks, it's all about boosting her affinity to unlock her true potential. In the midst of our adventures, my character did take a gnarly bite from a mole rat, a wound that's proven to be quite a challenge to heal. But fear not, a heroine is tough as nails, and her sacrifice ensures young Austin survival. But wait, there's more heroics to boast about. We did rescue a feline friend, and stumbled upon a hidden gem within Vault 81. Seriously, white inhabitants missed our secret area. I'll never know. Before you go diving back into the wasteland for more thrills, let me extend a heartfelt thank you for tuning in. If this video rocked your shocks, or rocked your socks even, show some love by smashing the like button. And why not join the ranks of other sisterhood by hitting subscribe for more epic adventures. Until our next journey through the irradiated ruins, stay vigilant, stay badass. This is your Wasteland Commander signing off.